What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and today we're going to be talking about the mutt market and the current standards where it is right now. It's pretty much a buyer's market. Everything is so cheap and disgusting. So if you're looking to build your team up, many of you guys are saying, you know, Gmaya, thank you for not, um, you know, for, for letting us know not to get the Justin Smith yesterday and waiting. It's already gone down about 200k. It's going to continue to come down more. The market is really, really volatile right now because to be honest, the training value things that are inside of the store are not really good. So when you look at the training, like 46,000 training, that's gonna run you at least, I would probably say like 200 and change, and that's what the actual cards are going for, uh, the team of the year players. So right now we're gonna take a look at some of the, um, you know, some of the items in the uh, auction house and try to figure out what you guys need to do to build your team. Now, as I always tell you guys, right, every year, uh, for the last three or four years madden has changed like drastically this year it's all about the theme team so some of you guys got like you know mixture of the teams ravens chiefs you got like weird stuff going on i understand all that the problem is right most of these players they kind of when you power them up they're like right at 95 speed so you need the plus four so you're gonna have to be willing to risk having a 98 versus a 99 if you want to split certain theme teams there are exceptions to that though um, you know, Scary Terry can get to a 99. You got Deion Sanders, some of the stuff like that. So that can work. But I want everybody to understand, it is very important, right, that you take advantage of what's available now. Why? Because we have a new promo coming very soon, next week, with the Super Bowl, right? So they're going to have to obviously put, you know, training offers in the store and stuff like that. So if you wanted to play around, you actually could. Now, this is where it gets kind of crazy, right? Over the last couple days, I've been sniping 94s for around 110 and 115. That is ridiculous. Now, what are the cards that I've been buying? The Rising Stars. Now, since I've been doing it, um, the prices, is, you know, they've gone up in certain cases, like this one is 128. They steadily come down. Let me explain to you guys why you should just wait on this, right? Because it's between the Rising Stars and like the Legends and stuff like that. Why should you wait and continue to watch it go down? Because everybody understands a lot of these cards are terrible. These cards are not good. Like most of the cards that you, like when you look at the Rising Stars, like I just showed you, some of the legends you can still get some value for it, but the Rising Stars are trash cards, right? All of them, they're all trash. You got Joe Burrow, he's trash because he can't get Gunslinger. It's a lot of weird stuff that's going on um, with the players that are there. So people understand if you pull this, it's pretty much an L. So you can get training now and eat later, or you can wait it out and just not do anything and see what players they put out and see what they give us in the challenges for free. We get one of those cards for the set, complete the set, and we know how that goes. Complete the set, sell the main card, get back the Nats. You know how we do that. We've been going over it uh, throughout the year. Many of you guys have been making a tremendous amount of coins. Shout out to you guys that are understanding the way that the market works and how you're supposed to utilize it. So look, I can wait on this, right? Because I know for a fact, people are going to get desperate because they need coins to get some of those cheaper cards that are available. So the next question you probably ask is, what cards are cheap right now? Like, what is everybody trying to get right now? Well, the team of the year for the most part has not been as exciting as many of us thought it would be. Let's just be honest, it's been pretty much trash, all right? So a lot of the cards are just not as good as we thought. So if you want a card from this actual segment of team of the year, you can see the price ranges. Now, I have news for you. Most of these cards will probably be around 250 or less after the Super Bowl promo drops, unless EA Sports does something to revitalize the market by putting something in the store that makes it worth you know, a higher value for training so that people can put it up for more expensive prices. Other than that, nothing's gonna happen. So when you go through it and you look at it, whatever card you want is extremely cheap right now, no matter what it is. And uh, by the way, Brandon Sheriff is one of those better uh, right guards. He has really, really good numbers. But everything is really, really cheap. Darren Waller right now at this moment on a Raiders theme team is the best tight end in the game. So if you don't have a Raiders theme team, he still will get up to a 95, which is still better than Jermichael Finley, who was the best tight end in the game for like a month. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of how you try to work it, you can do a lot with a little right now. So the next thing that we come into is like, okay, so Jimai, what you're telling us is it's a buyer's market. What if we don't have any coins? Now, that obviously makes everything relatively difficult if you don't have coins, right? But you guys should have been grinding the game. You guys should be done with house rules. Like, there's a lot of things that I've been showing you guys that you should not have any issue with having uh, currency right now. Remember, 
These house rules, I've already done all 50 of them. I showed you guys all the rewards and everything. You know, my trophies, my free mutt coins. But I'm going to show it to you again. If you have not played 50 games of this, do not complain about not having coins. Because it's one way or the other. You're going to have to either spend money or you're going to have to grind the game. So my suggestion is because these are full games and it goes towards that 200 series 4 wins thing to get an additional 100k and you're going to get trophies along the way as well my suggestion is to grind this out okay because that's one of the like the biggest question asked how do i get coins ea is very very stingy with their coins but they give you a lot of opportunity to be able to accumulate coins the fact of the matter is many of you guys just want it handed to you if it's like a little bit of stuff you got to do, oh my God, bro, they want me to play a full game. Like, bro, you can't have it both ways. Trust me, every time I go into a head-to-head -head game, I question my life. I don't know why I'm doing it. I just go in there because I know like, yo, somebody's going to throw the ball through my body. I'm going to get motion snap glitched. It's going to get crazy, but I signed in. So I deserve everything that happens to me. So do you. But you're not going to be able to get the coins if you don't spend money or you don't grind the game. All right, so this is just something that I recommend that you guys did. I got everything out of it. You know, I, like I told you guys, I have a tremendous amount of trophies right now off of just doing that in like a couple weekend leagues. You know what I'm saying? So you still got back up coins for if something comes out that's really, really good. Now, let me go ahead and point this out as well because you guys are still asking about Deshaun Watson, the hype around De uh, Deshaun Watson. Should you go ahead and spend the two point whatever million coins? I'm gonna tell you this again, right? This game is so unpredictable. If you spend the coins right now, there's a chance that later on today, they drop a Super Bowl QB that's gonna make you rip your hair out. Because EA is trying to get that guap. And if you don't understand that, you're gonna have major issues. And it's as simple as that. You gotta know what's going on. I don't know why this guy's card has went up in price like this. This card was 600K like last week. Like what? And people are buying that? So look, let, let's don't worry about all that. Let's take a look at what's going on with Deshaun Watson. Okay, he gets Hot Rot Master, Escape Artist, all that stuff all at once. He can do all the stuff. Um, you know, Hot Rot Master, Gunslinger, uh, Escape Artist, everything like that, right? Just think about this for a second. We all know the way the game works. What are the chances that you don't get a throw out a sack animation for six in any game you play? It's sort of like they have a slider there. Like, it has to happen in the game because developers want it to be a part of the game. Really, really weird, but happens all the time. I get at least one throw out of sack pick six a game. Sometimes I'll throw one for six, but it's it's part of what's in it. Now, when you look at Deshaun Watson overall as a card, it's, it's a very, very good card, but just not worth the coins. So while we're trying to take advantage of the buyer's market right now, I would not, I repeat, I would not spend 2.7 whatever on this card because I know for a fact EA has no choice but to release another quarterback that's going to be very, very similar to Deshaun Watson very soon. How do I know that? We're very, very close to Ultimate Legends. So let me let me get this straight. You're going to spend 2.75. Another card's going to come out that's going to have all the same numbers, but have a set and be that much less any day now. Remember, EA Sports is the same company that cost us 600000 on Barry Sanders. They made a, uh, you know, a training option for Bo Jackson. Cost me like four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars without even telling us anything. So we know that it's coming. We know that they're gonna announce something later. Why would I not disclose that to my viewers and let you guys understand that? And I know it's really appealing. I know you guys wanna grab them. Trust me guys, EA Sports is about that guap. They're gonna drop a card that's gonna, listen, it's gonna be either comparable to Deshaun Watson or better than Deshaun Watson with a set. And then once it's in the set, we already know, you can snipe this, snipe that, and then everything comes down in price. So I wanted you guys to be careful with that. But again, because the team of the year cards are so cheap, you can put together various squads for very, very cheap prices. And that's what you guys need to start to look at right now. You can accumulate a lot of training and wait until they see what they're gonna do for the Super Bowl, or you can actually start building your team. All right, so right now, I just wanna go make sure you guys understand. This is what I would ask you guys to do. Lurk the 94s. And like I said, I'm getting them for 110, 115. I just sit there and just lurk it. People are desperate. It's 110, 115. Until these cards come down to that price, do not buy anything. And the more you cycle through it, the luckier you'll get. Because people are constantly pulling packs and constantly putting cards up on auction and trying to accumulate cards for the next promo. And guess what? A lot of you guys are chilling. 
waiting and just trying to see what happens. So if that's gonna be your route, if you're gonna be looking for a loophole with the new Super Bowl promo, that is probably the best route you can go. You can simply just sit and wait for EA Sports to do whatever they want and then you go ahead and grab it. You see what I'm saying? Because now you'll have a certain amount of training. As soon as they drop it, if there's a loophole, you eat, grab your cards and be gone. All right, so let me know if you have any other questions about it. I would definitely watch those 94s um, and start to put together the teams that you want. If you haven't already maxed out like your physical chems, uh, your scheme chems, right now is your time. It's a buyer's market. Go get those cards, get the training, max out sprinter, max out play fake, max out lockdown. Um, you know, get yourself a theme team and get going and you should be good. It's so much more cheaper now than it was when I did it. So go ahead and enjoy that. Once again, if you have any other questions, let me know. The community is very, very happy to help. Uh, you dudes have been doing a really, really good job of handling that business, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you guys so much. You guys go ahead and have a blessed day. Until next time, one love, y'all.